What if your hand had a mind of its own? What if it reached out, grabbed things, hit people, or even hurt you, all without your permission? I'm the Psycho Nurse, and today we're unraveling one of the most disturbing and surreal disorders in all of neurology, alien hand syndrome. Alien hand syndrome, AHS, is a neurological condition in which a person experiences their hand, usually the non-dominant one, as having a will of its own. It may move without conscious intent, grab objects spontaneously, touch the person's face or body involuntarily, and even resist the commands of the conscious brain. It feels quite literally like the hand is possessed. The term alien hand was first coined in 1909 by German neuropsychiatrist Kurt Goldstein, who described a patient whose left hand would interfere with what the right hand was doing. Later in the 1970s, research from Dr. Joseph Bogan and Dr. Roger Sperry, who studied split brain patients after corpus callosotomy surgeries done to treat severe epilepsy, helped define AHS as a symptom of disconnected brain hemispheres. This is where the horror begins, because these patients reported one hand behaving in ways they couldn't control. One woman said her left hand would slap her when she tried to do simple tasks. The disorder even inspired the film Dr. Strangelove, where a character fights to stop his own Nazi saluting arm. Let's break it down neurologically. Alien hand syndrome is typically caused by damage to the brain involving the corpus callosum, which connects the left and right hemispheres, the supplementary motor area, SMA, or the posterior parietal cortex. Each of these areas plays a critical role in motor control, intention, and awareness of action. When the connection between intent and movement breaks down, the brain cannot recognize the hand's movement as its own, leading to the eerie sensation that it's being controlled by something or someone else. AHS is rare and usually occurs after stroke, especially in the right hemisphere, neurosurgery, like split brain surgery, neurodegenerative diseases, such as Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, Alzheimer's or CBD, corticobasal degeneration, brain tumors or traumatic brain injury, it can appear suddenly or progress with the underlying neurological condition. Patients with AHS report unintentional grabbing or groping, hand unbuttoning clothes they just buttoned, hand slapping or hitting them during sleep, difficulty completing tasks because one hand undoes what the other does, feelings of frustration, confusion, and fear. Many report anthropomorphizing the hand, giving it a personality, even a name. There's no single test for alien hand syndrome. Diagnosis involves neurological exams, imaging tests, MRI or CT scans, to identify brain lesions, behavioral observation of involuntary hand actions, and ruling out conditions like Tourette's, OCD, or functional movement disorders. Because it's so rare and bizarre, misdiagnosis is common. There's no known cure, but symptoms can be managed through behavioral therapy and occupational therapy, teaching patients to distract or engage the alien hand, e.g. giving it an object to hold, visual feedback therapy and mirror therapy, and treating the underlying cause, stroke, tumor, etc. Some medications like botulinum toxin injections or benzodiazepines have been trialed to reduce involuntary movements, but results vary. One of the most famous cases is that of a woman whose left hand would choke her in her sleep. She had undergone surgery to remove a brain tumor that had severed the corpus callosum. Another case involves a man who described his left hand as a separate person who would undo his shirt buttons repeatedly while he tried to get dressed. And in split brain studies, patients were observed fighting their own hand, one writing something, the other crossing it out. The emotional toll of AHS is significant. Anxiety, depression, fear of one's own body, isolation and social withdrawal, body identity disturbance. Some even develop delusions that their hand is controlled by an external force, blending AHS with psychiatric symptoms. Alien hand syndrome blurs the line between neuroscience and horror. It challenges our understanding of free will, body ownership, and the deep mystery of the human brain. If you found this episode as jaw-dropping as I did, hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment. What would you do if your own hand turned against you? 
stay tuned for more unsettling journeys into the mind, only here on The Psycho Nurse. Until next time, keep your hands where you can see them. Keep your 